Which of these three cases would you choose? I'll let you know what one I chose. We're gonna get into it here on Random Tech. Dun, dun, dun. Actually, there's four cases that I have, but I've already returned one because it was absolute garbage. I just recently purchased a 12.9 inch iPad Pro. Uh, I upgraded from an 11 inch Pro from maybe 2018, 2019. So far, I am loving it. It is uh, quite a big step up in terms of both size, like screen size and um, performance. So I'm very, very pleased with the iPad itself. But one of the first things that you do when you get a new iPad is, of course, you go out and you get a new case for it. So I am, I don't know why, but I feel like I'm very particular with cases. They just have to feel right and you kind of know it when you get the right one. So I've tried out these three that I have in front of me, but I've also, uh, like I said, I have another one that I've already returned. So what we could do today is maybe briefly go through these four cases uh, one at a time, and I can give you my thoughts on these cases and what I liked and what I uh, disliked about them. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, the first one up here is the Otterbox Symmetry Series 360 Elite Folio. Um, I did not like this one at all. And for the price, actually this says, I've got it at Micro Center, which is a store close to me. It's on the website here at 109. For whatever reason, it rang up as $55. And even that wasn't cheap enough for me to keep this thing. Now, one of the first things you'll notice, I mean, I just needed something because I just bought the the iPad Pro that day and I needed something to put in because I wasn't about to go um, au natural, as they say. So I ended up just picking this case up, but you'll notice right here. So this is the, the attachment point for the front cover to the back cover. And it is like, doesn't even run the whole length of the side. So as you open this iPad cover up, excuse me, the case cover up, it just like flaps in the wind. It's, it's really not a, uh, you could tell that this thing is going to fail after probably, I don't know, less than six months anyways. The other thing that uh, I quickly realized was a problem was where the pencil goes into this holder here. Um, there's one, two, three, four different little channels that... Uh, these are very, it's almost like a, um, they just like pop in there. This, and then this slides out and allows uh, enough room for the pencil. But it's just a terrible setup because what happens is as you grab it, um, I'm just going to use one as a different example here. I'll use this one. Um, you know, so basically, you know, as you grab it, you grab the iPad like this, though it didn't have this thing on the side here, but as you grabbed it, it would just knock the pencil right off like constantly. Uh, again, this isn't that particular case, but um, it is representative of what you, what, you, what you saw on this OtterBox case, which is really disappointing because typically they're a company that makes really, really good products. All right, enough of that one. We're gonna shove that one off to the side. Let's get to the next one here. And this is one that I do have. Um, this is the Logitech Combo Touch for the iPad Pro 12.9 inch fifth generation. And the only one that was available in the store was Sand. And this is expensive. It's $229. Now it's less expensive than the Apple Magic Keyboard, which I think is $350 for the, the larger iPad Pro. Um, but it's still very expensive, $230. It's nothing to sneeze at. So. Um, what were my thoughts about this one? Uh, I absolutely love the um, the flexibility that it affords. So if you're planning on using this as um, your primary computer instead of a laptop computer, it really does make a lot of sense to get something like this. I don't, I still find myself carrying a laptop around. I tried using it for a couple days with this case, um, but it just didn't really suit my workflow. I, I much prefer to have a, a laptop to actually get some some work done. Um, but for someone who, who does want the keyboard attached, it is a great solution. Um, you can see here, it's a nice big keyboard. It's got a trackpad on there. Um, and it's, it has nice, good rubber surround and it's nice looking too. It's got terrific texture to it. I don't know if you can see it here. I'll see if you can, you know, you can kind of hear it. It's got 
plenty of grip. Uh, and that's one of the issues with that Otterbox as well, is it's just super slippery, especially the back, because it was just this like clear plastic. Um, but one of the things that I really didn't like about this, actually there's a couple things. Number one is it is heavy. Like you can't, obviously you can't see it um, in the, the <laughs> you can't see weight in the video, but you get the gist, it's, it's, it's heavy. Um, and then the other thing is, uh, typically the way I use my cover is I will, you know, open up the iPad and then I'll swing it off and see what just happened, right? So it immediately detaches. So in order for it to stick to the back, you actually have to flip it around, reattach it, and then it's done, right? So now it's all set and it stays nice and flat, but what a pain, right? So now as you go to close it, you've got to do the same thing in reverse, right? Because this just pops off. Now it's in two pieces again. Now I gotta take this thing off. And then I'm back to square. Um, that's super fiddly. That's that's never gonna work for me long term. Um, but one thing is nice is, is when you do have the keyboard off, that you can flip this out and it will uh, just stand on its own. If you got the weight of the iPad against it. So it's it's really variable. Now, they say that you can bring it all the way down. I didn't do that personally. Um, but if you did, the fear is it would still be a little bouncy. It's not very solid. So again, not a bad solution for someone that's looking to have a laptop replacement. But for me, it was definitely not a good fit. I'm not going to throw that because I still need to return it. Um, next up on our list, We've got, this is called the Tiny Owl Mocha iPad Pro 12.9-inch uh, case. Uh, and this is very similar to the one that I, I had on my, here, I'll bring in my old iPad here. So this is my 11-inch iPad, which uh, has a very similar case. You know, super easy, simple. Nothing really crazy here. Um, and this is almost exactly the same except for the 12.9 inch. But you'll notice this This is very, I mean, it's not. It's smooth. It's got a little grip to it, but it's still pretty smooth, so it can definitely slide out. Um, but I did like this design. But it felt cheap, you know? I mean, this is only $26, and it felt like it was $26. Uh, good reviews though. I think he's got 40 ratings and five answer questions. And on to the last one. And this is definitely the one that I am keeping. This is called the Zugu case. Um, I'm not quite sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And I did get it in this brown color. Cognac brown. Fancy. Now this is the most expensive of the bunch. Um, by far, actually, with the exception of the keyboard one, but this does not have a keyboard. This is just a standard case, and it was $79.99, but there are a lot of features in this that make it uh, worth that price tag. First and foremost, uh, it came packaged beautifully, like in a nice box and wrapped in tissue paper. And very fancy. The case itself is, is real high quality, and again, you can't... <sighs> You can't tell from, you know, just looking at it, but I could tell you, you know, I'll run my hands across this. Maybe you can hear it on the microphone, but it's smooth to, to feel, but it's uh, got plenty of grip. So it, it just feels like a very, very premium product, uh, more than the $80, that's for sure. And certainly uh, better than the OtterBox, which uh, I think if you don't get it on sale, it's going to be comparable in price, me it's actually more expensive. But the nice thing about this is it just opens right up. You flip it to the back, and it just stays there, right? It's got magnets on the back. And again, this is nice too. It's a nice soft cover on the on the inside of the the front top cover. Um, has a storage spot for the pencil on the side. But I think even cooler than that is when you're traveling. Say you've got to go on you know, a business trip or something like that, or you're traveling for, you know, just a family vacation or something like that. 
This is prone when you have it on the side here. This is great just for like day-to-day -day use, but when you're traveling somewhere and you need it to really be stored, there's a separate slot here that the pencil just slides right into. That's so cool. You just pull it right out and you can put it right back in place. So this is a really well thought out design. Um, what you can do here is there's this little flap that comes out and attaches to the, to the front flap, to the front cover. And it's magnetic too, so it's not gonna flop around. Right, I guess I, I guess if you shake it hard enough, it'll come off, but I mean, no one's gonna do that. I guess if you did, you probably want to shut anyways. So this is, uh, again, very variable. So you could have it, you know, almost flat. I don't know what degrees that is. What would you say? Maybe 15 degrees, 20 degrees, something like that. So pretty shallow. Uh, and then when you're done, you just flip that over and you're off and running. So this is clearly the winner. And the other thing I didn't mention here was that the bumpers, it has really nice bumpers on the side. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if we can get a close up. I guess you can kind of see that. Maybe, I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> you can just buy it. I guess that's the moral of this story. If you're looking for an iPad Pro case, 12.9 inch, the Zugu uh, case, the 79.91 on Amp, 79.99 one on Amazon is the way to go. They have other colors as well. They, it looks like they have a berry purple, cherry red, slate blue, and stealth black. I don't know. I, I like this color in, and in person, it, I don't know, I have no idea what it's gonna look like in the video, but in person it looks really sharp and very professional and it's very nice. Real, real premium product. It almost looks like leather, but I'm sure it isn't. Um, but hey, if you're feeling like berry blue, have at it. That's all I have today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure that you smash that like button and also hit the subscribe button to be notified of future videos. Thanks for watching. Take care.